And the Washington Redskins football team is looking at a name change. We're following breaking news here on HQ. The team announcing Friday that they will undergo a thorough review of the team's name. Head coach Ron Rivera said the issue is of personal importance to him, and he looks forward to working with owner Dan Snyder on a change. Washington has been under pressure to change their name for years. Here is the statement from the Redskins. In light of recent events around our country and feedback from our community, the Washington Redskins are announcing the team will undergo a thorough review of the team's name. This review formalizes the initial discussions the team has been having with the league in recent weeks. Weeks. And there has been a statement from the NFL themselves. Roger Goodell, the commissioner, uh, putting out a short statement saying in the last few weeks we have had ongoing discussions with Dan and we are supportive of this important step. And let's bring in CBS Sports NFL analyst Patrick Walker to discuss this. Patrick, I'll start by first getting your reaction to this. Uh, the Redskins announcing they are looking at changing their name finally. What are your thoughts? Well, this is absolutely significant, uh, not simply for uh, what's possibly and likely to come as far as the name change itself, but when you look at the process it took to get here, uh, if you recall, not so long ago, Dan Snyder put his foot down and he was very vehement in that the the Washington Redskins will quote unquote never see a name change or a mascot change and he said quote uh, you can print that and everyone printed that now here we are in 2020 uh, in the wake of the murder of George Floyd by Minneapolis police officers who have now been charged with second degree murder and aiding and abetting second degree murder and of course that murder sparked global protests uh, those calling for social justice and it brought the name Redskins back to the forefront uh, you look at a team like the Redskins who have now gone as far as removing uh, George Preston Marshall, which was the initial owner of the team back in the early 1930s uh, from in front of RFK Stadium and also being, you know, wiping him away from uh, the organization, uh, taking him out of the ring of honor. But Dan Snyder now is under extreme pressure to take that additional step. Federal officials have basically told him they will not allow him to relocate back into Washington, D.C. unless he changes the name. You look at uh, Nike removing the name from their online database, database base Pepsi uh, applying pressure and of course FedEx the CEO of Fre FedEx Frederick Smith who is also a minority owner in the Washington franchise basically looking at Dan Snyder saying hey this needs to happen Roger Goodell is on board with it so it's coming from all angles and Dan Snyder can no longer be dug in now so it looks like the change is likely coming but how much of this, Patrick, I mean, let's be honest, how much of this is about community feedback and how much of this is actually about the fact that now it's going to start hitting this team in the pocketbook? Because this has been a criticism about this Washington team for a number of years. Dan Snyder has gone on record as saying he knows what the name implies and he's OK with it. But now that it's going to start hitting the pocketbook, now is when he's going to make the change. So how much of this for you is actually about community feedback and how much of this is actually about money? For me, it's 100% about the pocketbook, uh, like you stated, uh, and it's been pretty clear that Dan Snyder has not been open to feedback from the community. Now, he's cited uh, certain conversations he's had with small pockets of Native Americans uh, in the Washington, D.C. area who have stated that they're not offended by the name Redskins, but for the most part, there has been a ton of feedback from other Native American groups also outside of D.C., just globally speaking up against the name, and he's not been willing to budge, but now he he is willing to do so only after being applied or only after pressure has been applied from Pepsi, from Nike, from federal officials that are basically saying, hey, we know you want to relocate back into the District of Columbia because you have waning attendance at FedEx Stadium. So if you want to do that and get back into the money making uh, situation with your team, you're going to have to change this name. There's no way that Dan Snyder can avoid changing the name at this point unless he wants to continue to suffer not just a financial hit but a substantial financial hit keep in mind FedEx is the sponsor for that home stadium Pepsi Nike they have huge business relationships with Dan Snyder and the Washington Redskins and then of course you're looking at the fact that now Roger Goodell is getting involved as well supporting the change it's not been about community hearing the community so to speak when it comes to Dan Snyder if that was the point if that was the case the change would have happened long ago but here we are he seems willing to do so but it can't I'd be remiss we would all be remiss if we thought that it had anything other anything to do with other than billions of dollars being on the table 
Patrick, how concerning is it for you that this has been going on for such a long time when it comes to this Washington football team? You saw Roger Goodell's statement, but how concerning is it to you that, that it took sponsors getting involved for this change to come versus the league actually stepping in and saying, hey, let's make this change sooner? Are you concerned by the look of this for the NFL that it took the sponsors to come in versus Roger Goodell and the league stepping in and saying, hey, this needs to happen? Absolutely. It is disappointing. It's another black eye for the league and Roger Goodell. Uh, you look at the situation with Colin Kaepernick. Obviously, now the league has doubled back uh, in the wake of the, the death of George Floyd and said, hey, we should have listened uh, back when Colin Kaepernick was trying to bring police brutality and social injustice uh, as a main topic that needed to be discussed. We did not, but we're ready to do that now. Uh, but now you say that, but it takes Nike and Pepsi and federal officials uh, and FedEx applying pressure to Dan Snyder before you issue a statement saying, hey, we're on board as well. There should have been some type of proactive approach to this from the NFL far before it got to 2020 because, again, there was massive pressure from the community, specifically the Native American community on the whole, that wanted to see the name changed. And all they got in return was a dug-in Dan Snyder saying, hey, it's never going to change. Deal with it. Put it in caps. Print it however you want, but it's not going to happen. Now that billions and billions of dollars are on the table, Snyder is is willing to come back and you know have these discussions but now Goodell in the NFL they support it but where were these statements prior to now I think that the NFL needs to do a much better job of getting ahead of the curve on social justice and social injustice issues and not simply waiting for billion dollar corporations to chime in and say hey we're willing to pull our partnership unless you do something we are following breaking news here on HQ. The Washington Redskins announcing that due to community feedback, they will be taking a deep look at their name and possibly changing from the Washington Redskins. Let's now bring in Ryan Wilson, Patrick Walker. Great stuff as always. Patrick joining us. Let's bring in Ryan Wilson. Ryan, I'll start by getting just your reaction to this news that uh, Washington is look at looking at finally changing uh, their name. What are your thoughts? I think Patrick touched on it, and he said that you can go look at Dan Snyder's history of where he stands on this name change and the fact that we're at this point is a step in the right direction. Has it been perfect throughout the process? Absolutely not. Native Americans who've been against this name change, or who've been against the name the Redskins will tell you that uh, for years and years and years. But I think we're at, we're at a point, an inflection point in, in, the, in American history where, where people are starting to take a step back and, and say, okay, what we have done in the past is wrong. We acknowledge that. What are we gonna do to, to change this going forward? Ha has it been an easy ride? No. Has it been an incredibly bumpy throughout the process? 100% absolutely. And, and Patrick talked about why do we need it to come down to money. At the end of the day, everything comes down to money. And if that's what it takes to get people's attention, then, then I think that's the direction you need to go. But a lot of these corporations who have invested millions and even billions of dollars in the Redskins have finally stood up and said, okay, something has to change. And, and I'm okay with it coming to that. It's better than what, where we have been. And, and, and I know it's a, an extremely contentious issue for a lot of people on, on both sides. But, but I feel like uh, if there's a, a subset of the population and, and a larger uh, part of the population that acknowledges that, that the name of this Washington football team is racist, then, yeah, let's do something about it. And, and um, you know, I, I know that historically uh, I've disagreed with a lot of what Roger Goodell and NFL has done in terms of so social justice issues, starting with Colin Kaepernick. But I will applaud the NFL, no matter the reason, for them being on the right side of this conversation right now, starting with the Black Lives Matter movement a few weeks ago and certainly uh, as we are here talking about the Washington uh, Redskins potentially changing their name. Yeah, I mean, no matter how it comes, progress is always a good thing, even if it is in little steps. Okay, we're at the beginning of July. The NFL season starts in September. Patrick, what's the timeline here? Is there any chance at all that Washington could have a new name by the time the 2020 season begins? Absolutely there is. I mean, at the time we're having this conversation, it's July 3rd. Uh, training camp is slated to open July 28th if all goes as planned as far as the COVID uh, pandemic and, and the restrictions thereof that are being applied to teams by the NFL and NFLPA. Uh, but we're seeing a reduction in preseason games from four to two when the NFLPA still has not signed off on that just yet. Although the NFL is on schedule and they're planning for uh, a mid-September kickoff, that is still very much in the air. So there's a possibility 
uh, that the NFL season could be delayed. But even if it is not delayed, we're still talking about, you know, several weeks, two plus months for the Washington Redskins to go ahead and change the name and, you know, figure out a process as far as what the new name will be. I hearken back to when the Houston Texans were uh, becoming an expansion franchise to replace the departed Oilers who, you know, went to Tennessee and became the Titans years prior. I love the process that the Texans did, although under different uh, circumstances, obviously. They put it to a vote. They, they let, a, you know, they ran a contest for fans to make the decision. And I think that would be a great chance for the Washington uh, Redskins to bring in the community, let them choose the name, and basically win new fans in the process. So this is a tipping point for Dan Snyder's team and his legacy in the NFL. Breaking news here on HQ is the Washington Redskins are considering a name change. Ryan, I'll put the final question to you, uh, I, and I don't mean to put you on the spot. Are the Kansas City Chiefs next? Yeah, that I, I don't have an answer to, and I, I have no idea where uh, that organization stands on, on their name. We've seen teams, both college and professionally, change their names but because uh, it's been considered racist by some organizations. I went to the College of William Mary. At the time I was there, they were known as the Tribe. They have since changed their name. Uh, they're now an Eagle. So, I mean, I mean these things happen. And, and, you know, like I said uh, initially, Jeremy, sometimes it's not something that happens overnight. Oftentimes, it happens step by step. And a lot of times, that your allies in these fights, they're, they are imperfect allies. So you have to determine um, what you're, who you're up against and what you're working uh, towards and, and who you're working with to, to make those things happen. And, and it's not often pretty. So right. in terms of Kansas City, I have no idea what their plans are. Um, I, I think it's progress that we're actually talking about the Washington Redskins. I think it's progress at Dan Snyder, whether it's pressure from, from advertisers and, and the, the, the threat of losing money or otherwise has decided to, to put out the statement he's put out. And I'll say one last thing, Jeremy, and, and Patrick sort of touched on this, just think of the, the marketing opportunities for, for Washington should they change their name with fans buying that merchandise. That seems like a slam dunk no-brainer, and hopefully we're today one step closer to that than we were even 24 to 40 hours ago. Yeah, money pressure may make the change happen, but it could be uh, good money in the end uh, with a name change. Ryan Wilson, Patrick, uh, thank you very much for joining us here on HQ as we follow this uh, breaking news that the Washington Redskins are considering a name change. Here is a statement from Roger Goodell, the league office, uh, chiming in with a short statement. In the words of the commissioner, in the last few weeks, we have had ongoing discussions with Dan, and we are supportive of this important step. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.